this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to make the best decorative indoor outdoor pillow for a boat. By choosing indoor outdoor washing machine friendly fabric and eliminating the need for a zipper, you'll effectively make a pillow that will survive for years in the sunny, salty sea air. So before I show you how to make the pillows, let me just show you the ones that I have on our boat. These are the ones that I made for us. Uh, we've had them for now about two years. Absolutely love them. They're very easy to clean. Uh, we've had wine on them, all sorts of stuff. It cleans right off. And the great thing about these is there's no zipper, so the zipper can't corrode. Um, we have other pillows where you can't get the zipper off because uh, it's all corroded and yucky and horrible. But with these kind of pillows, you have an envelope and they stay nice tucked in there, real easy to take in, take out, no corrosion, and then when you put them out, they just look absolutely fantastic. When we're not sailing, we almost always have these pillows in our cockpit. With the help of my mom, we're gonna show you how to make the decorative pillow cover with a stripe pattern because that's the most difficult. If you're not going to do a stripe pattern, uh, it's much easier. I'm trying to match up the stripes so it comes out perfect. And you're cutting three so, pieces. Three pieces. We have the front and the pocket back. When you're done cutting, you'll have three different sized pieces. So here I've got one square at the bottom. And then I've got two pieces that make the envelope in the back. So there's one and there's two. And then what I'm doing is folding these over and pinning them to make sure that the stripes match up when I roll over the edges. So once you have the edges, um, flipped over and sewn down, you then need to pin them. So you pin the top one first and then the bottom one goes over it. And um, you pin starting from the top here and then working your way down to the sides. And then put the second piece over and then pin that from the bottom going up, making sure that it lays as flat as possible. So along the top I've literally pinned every single stripe so that when you sew it doesn't um, come misaligned so that when you turn this right side out um, the stripes will all line up at the top and I'll do the same for the bottom too and on the side I only put one pin in to hold that in place so now I'm going to lift this up here and I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom with this lower sheet here this lower one so right sides together and I'm going to pin just as I have on the top in each section to make sure that the stripes line up perfectly. Okay, so the top is all pinned and the sides I have a couple pins keeping it in place, but then the bottom I have that all lined up too. It takes a long time, but the result is really nice. So I've sewn down the first edge here and then when I get to the almost to the end, I pivot I keep the sewing machine needle in and I lift this up and I pivot the actual um, pillowcase cover um, and then so that I don't sew all the way off. I'm sewing a square within and later on I'll trim the corners up so that when you turn the pillow inside out um, the corners don't get all like kind of funny looking. They, they, they look more like corners that way. What are you doing now, Mom? Well, I'm double surging the four thread surging the pillows, which we do with all of them. And what's that? That creates it, it from raveling. Yeah, so it puts thread around the edge, doesn't it? And it's a, a second, um, so like right. what do you call it? a second stitch all the way around. And these will last forever. Yes, they will. Yeah, the corners are trimmed yeah. a bit and I explained that in one of my earlier videos that's to make the corners look better isn't it yeah, yeah. you can poke them out better poke them out better yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
what we did was we put the corners and we serged the edges. Now we're going to take the entire pillow. We are going to poke out the corners so that they point and they don't, they aren't flat. So, so kind of rounded. You don't yeah, want it to be like rounded. rounded. Sometimes you get lucky and they just pop out. Yeah. And I just have to say, look at how those stripes are all matching up perfectly. <laughs> I have and a good you teacher. Take your, you take your little tool. Yeah, and show me the tool, Mom. What is it? It's like a, it's a ruler with ruler, a pointy bit. But you can, and it's so easy. Okay. So, so but ease. you can, um, you can find any kind of implement in your kitchen drawer, I think. Yeah, I think I used like a skewer or something yeah. before. Yeah. And obviously trim up any threads because I see some spare threads sticking out there. Yeah. There we are with our. Look at that. The yeah. corners. Let me get really nice. close in there. That's a very nice corner there. And now we're going to stuff it. I like to get the tab. At the bottom. The oh, the top. Okay. Yeah. Well, either or because you don't want it coming out of the envelope. I guess that's a preference. <laughs> yeah. And just kind of ease the corners into the corners. And they're so easy to stuff, aren't they? Yeah. I tell you, I've had to throw out so many pillows because of zippers on the boat. Oh, look they at those They all corrode. Stripes. Yeah, look at they match up. That's great. Isn't that pretty? We're a good team, Mom. Yeah. <sighs> And a little trick, get your edges even. You kind of hold the edge there, hold yeah. the side. All right, let's see it, Mom. And we're done. Ah, Pretty. That's great. Hey, Bert. Hey, Ernie. Are you coming back? Oh, there they both are. Oh, there they go. These are the birds you hear in the background, Bert and Ernie. Did. So what happened, Mom? I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> it's missing a couple inches. It's, so that one will probably end up on my couch. <laughs> Gosh, it is over 100 degrees. And I've had my pillowcases done for like a week now. And I thought, oh, I just got to get out and do it. But man... I'm struggling. It's amazing because I've lived on a boat for two and a half years. We've never used air conditioning. I get to America, I stay in my brother's house for two weeks, and now I am desperate for air conditioning. There's Syme. Oh, How hot is it, Syme? It's hot. Yeah, it is hot. It feels like it's, about, it's about 93, but it's it feels like, like 102. 102 Fahrenheit. So 39 degrees Celsius. Oh my gosh, I'm so lightheaded. I'm gonna get a drink of water. Hopefully this gives you a good idea on how to make decorative pillowcases for a boat or indoor outdoor patio. If you would prefer to buy them instead, we do sell them on our Sailing Bridican Etsy shop and the link is right here. Thanks for watching and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe.